I do very well remember when Dad came home after he'd been to Dr. Spencer. And uh, he came uh, up into the little apartment that we had, and he was uh, talking to Mother, and he said, well, you know what he said. He said, I'll never pitch again. And with that, he began to cry. And I'd never seen my dad cry. I was yeah. 10. And, uh, you know, I knew he was the best ball player in the whole world. And, of course, he was, uh, well, my mother went over and she sat on the arm of the chair. And she said, now, Charles, she never called him Charlie. Charles, that's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard in my life. Of course you're going to play again. You're going to be better than you ever were. And uh, uh, Dad, of course, got under control. And I had taken my brother, who at that time would have been five or four and a half, mm -hmm. and I had put him in the corner of the uh, sofa. I was getting him out of the way so he didn't have to see Dad cry. And uh, anyway, it was a very, very emotional thing, and it still is for me. It's hard for me to, yeah. to, to say it. But it, it happened.